Welcome to episode 16 of this Let's Play series. We are playing Distant Worlds 2. This is a preview version. My name is Daz Tactic. Welcome to the channel. A few little things. Let's just catch up with where we are. I've let the game run a little bit further on. There's nothing, no reason for anything happen. I'll just sort of let it continue on. Anyway, we're very, very stable with everything we're doing. Our, our empire is growing quite nicely. If I just go through the fleets, you'll see that they're all retrofitting at different spaceports. They're coming in to retrofit. So all of the fleets have now been brought in for retrofitting. Uh, these are picking up more troops. I've given them a, um, uh, a an actual army template for the invasion army so they can start to sort of plan ahead. Now, this is a, there's a lot they can put on board here. Um, yeah, they need, to, oh, they need to put a lot more on, on here anyway over time. Uh, discovery at Motos. We've discovered hidden items. Yep, so this is okay. Yep, just missed that one. Uh, so we're just waiting for all of these to retrofit at the various spaceports. Um, yep, retrofitting again. Yeah, these are starting. It, it, when they fill up with fuel, it means that they've essentially been retrofitted. So what we've done uh, with this, I'll just pause this for a second, and we'll just go through the few things I do want to actually do through here. Now, one thing I would like to do is actually start to build little collections of escort fleets, maybe sort of like four to a fleet or something like that, which would be enough to take on most small planet systems like just so we can sort of start to uh, have like mini fleets little raider fleets go across wherever, wherever, wherever we're going to be attacking and I'm thinking of attacking the Boscarans um, there's a few choices we actually have now some of the um, I was also thinking of this one but we don't really have any fuel out this way so that's not really going to help us much uh, we've got other Boscarans actually no that's different again Where's the other Boscarans? I'm not sure where the other Boscarans are. We don't know a lot about where the other people, like where the other empires actually are. So I guess we'll just sort of focus on taking taking the um, the centre, and I think we might as well subjugate the Boscarans first. So with that in mind, uh, let's just go across and set up how we can actually do that. So uh, this is actually new in, um, well, I, yeah, I don't think it was anything like it in, in Distant Worlds Universe. I certainly don't remember it. So we go across to our military tab. Now we've got two different things in through here. We've got army templates, and the army templates are probably the most simple things. And what these do is they create templates that you then can have armies then load onto your transports so it gives you a percentage of what of how they want to go now at the moment i'm wanting to get an invasion army if i go and edit that one i can see that it's going to be 25 percent infantry 40 percent armored no planetary defense 20 percent special forces and any titans we, we don't have the ability to get titans just yet but anyway that's sort of like for late game or you know late mid game i guess uh, is where these will sort of come up so we've got like border colony defense army a major colony defense army so if we're trying to sort of get like an army to then drop onto a particular planet this might be the way that we sort of do it and then we've got standard colony defense army in through there as well so different sorts of ways of having a look to see what they're made up of now i don't know why the armor is actually put onto these i would probably would have gotten rid of those myself i won't resave it but we'll just sort of leave it where that is i think when it goes when it goes down it does um i've, I've got a, like a leftover amount so i'll just leave it there anyway that's the that's that army i can create new versions as well if i wanted to but anyway that's the army templates the uh the fleet template they, they did sort of have this in the in distant worlds universe the fleet templates though is something i don't remember them actually having i certainly didn't use it but what this one does is it allows you to then set up different fleets now they've got like a raiding force i could just edit this one if i wanted to but if we edit this one we can have a c and see that this is made up of no escorts three frigates and two destroyers which is actually for where i am in the game at this point at this point in time overkill so let's go and design our own and what we'll do is we'll start maybe with this raiding force and we can for, uh, so we can build essentially build them or manage them from here but we're going to go and um, I'm going to copy this one as new this raiding force so we're just going to go across and this one's going to be a um, uh, maybe an escort raiding for a fleet uh, or escort raid raid fleet that'll do so we've got that one through there so this is the fleet the fleet role will be raid so I can go and click this one to defend manual attack invade or raid I will just keep it on raid uh, so that way they've sort of know if they, if I make put them into an automatic function they'll then know what to sort of do with these things we also then have engagement range uh, so this is going to be 50 percent of of, range, of fuel range now this is sort of again I've got like do not engage so, so basically stay where you are um, engage within uh, when attacked or um, engage range nearby so nearby systems now this is for raiding and I think do I want to have that 
I have to think about it. Same location is actually sort of very, very specific to like specific planets or you know very nearby planets. Same system as anywhere within the actual system. I think I'm more comfortable with systems and then just leaving them in the systems. Yeah, the sector range is um, this is a bit tricky. Uh, sectors are no longer really in the game, but it does mean essentially a, a fairly big collection of planets. Uh, and then 33% yeah, of range, 50%. So we're back in through there again. I think we'll just go engagement range will be the same system. Let's just leave it there. We then fleet should retreat when enemy strength is greater. Yeah, I think so. Um, or what else have we got? When uh, uh, fleet should retreat when enemy strength 50% greater or 100% greater. Yeah, we won't go crazy with that. Should retreat never. Um, Yeah, when should we do this? Where's the greater gone? <laughs> yeah, the other one now has disappeared from there. I'll just do 50% greater. Attack stance is just going to be neutral. Uh, ship role reassignment, so ships uh, reassign roles within fleet as needed. I can sort of change all of these things. I won't go into this in too much detail. That's the fleet overall. The ships within the fleet. So tactics, use fleet or ship. Um, so use ship tactics instead of fleet tactics. So if we have specific... I can might keep, leave that one on. That way, they will actually have specific whatever their role is as ships will then be overridden. Like they'll override their role within the fleet, I guess, which I'm happy enough with. Uh, again, the engagement range for the ships is going to be within the same system. Attack stance with the, against weaker targets is going to be neutral, neutral in through there. I might just change that to aggressive. Okay, and then we've got retreat when 20% of non-defense components are damaged. Yeah, that's I'm happy enough with that. Invade and colonies. And what we want to do here is we want to get rid of the escorts. We want to get rid of the destroyers. Uh, we need to have some ships in there. So we'll just get, say, four, four escorts of what we currently have. I think we'll do the job. And so that's pretty much everything that's actually in there at this stage. I'll just leave them where they are. So four escorts, that'll do us. The escort raid fleet, these will just be tiny little, little uh, raiders, maybe five. Yeah, let's just do it that way. So this is our escort raid fleet, which has now come back in through here. This, so, so with this particular raider fleet that we have, um, so form new escort raid fleet from existing ships at a specific location. Now, I don't want to be doing that one because I am pretty much just want to build my own fleets or build new escort raid fleet. As long as I've got enough money, I've got 40000 there, it's going to cost me a little bit. Now, I found this to be a little bit buggy, but let's just see how we go. Let's just go and build a new escort raid fleet at... And we'll build this one at the Dazraka spa uh, spaceport. So it's got, like, as long as you've got money and, and supplies, it will then give you the limits of what you can then do. So let's just go this way. Sorry about my ship. I'm oh, sorry. Sorry about my dogs uh, barking away. And I might just build a second one. And actually, it's funny. It's, it's now got even less that we can actually then do. It, did, it chewed up a lot of what we had. Let's just leave it there because that's going to, um, that means that if we go to the Dazraka area at the military ships we should then see if we go to escorts that we now have like a group that will then be assigned to the seventh strike force is what they've called them down the bottom there now they've called them the strike force which is interesting yeah that, that, that's going to be okay that just basically means that they're raiders so we've got a new fleet being built actually this is working that worked out okay <laughs> that's good stuff so we'll leave that one where that is i can this one's retrofitting automatically that's fine. I'll just leave them where they are. So we just have to be careful that we, you know, that we've got enough cash and all that sort of stuff before we do any of this. But let's just build that one up. So that's that's how that you can actually now build your fleets in the game, which is good, which is uh, pretty cool. And that that one did actually work. I found that if you run out of uh, resources or, or cash, it will then mix and match what it can what it can cobble together from other things, which is. You sort of think, what the hell's going on? Anyway, I'll just leave that one there and we'll unpause. So we're just now waiting for all these different fleets to be built or um, or retrofitted. So they're coming in now. That's meant that we've left everything very, very unguarded. And what I might do is I might actually go and, um, like in no man's land, I am finding I can build, like I've built a monitoring station back out through this side. Um, yep, we'll assign missions there. Build ships, two, two new fuel tankers. I'll just let them keep on building what they're building. Wouldn't mind getting a uh, monitoring station back out through here somewhere, just on the edge of, of where this is. I know that there's a, um, uh, a a pirate fleet out here somewhere. So what I might do is I might just go out and tell it to build. I can just go to these locations and just build a monitoring station around here if I wanted to. Let's just do that. 
sort of just go and queue up a monitoring station. That's sort of in no man's land. That way at least we'll then sort of see this region of space, which does concern me a little bit. And we'll just let things sort of develop. Once we get the medium space, uh, this medium space ports, we can then start to improve these, like the different space ports we have around the place. We might start to look and see if we can actually go and build. How are we going with the build queue here? That one's still under construction, but that's good. These guys are quite happy now, <laughs> these humans. Uh, what have we got? We've got, um, yeah, we've got uh, like a lot more humans on there, but they seem to be happy. So that's actually okay. We've got the new escort completed, so we'll uh, dismiss that one. So we're just going to be getting more and more now for that uh, strike fleet. And I can use that seventh strike fleet ultimately. I can leave that essentially just to, as um, if I set up the the parameters for it, I can, I can have it just do its own thing, for example, up in this region where it can then sort of zip around and do whatever it wants to do if I set that up. Which is probably sort of, I don't know if I want to move it there or move it over here somewhere. Have a quick look through the fleets. So this one is now actually. Now that's interesting. That that's actually. It's just the old heavy escort. Um, yeah, that should be escorted. That's a bit much. Retrofit heavy escort version two for eighty thousand credits. Doesn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> Let's just have a quick look back at the fleets. Heavy escort two. That's okay. I don't know why it would be that much money, to be honest, but anyway, it does seem like a bug, actually. <laughs> Let's just go back to fleets again. Strike force is being built. Retrofits are still happening through this side. Yep, that's destroyed too. It's, it is retrofitting. Oh, I've, uh, by the way, I did actually change the designs of the ships, so if we have a bit of a look, I'll just quickly go through what we've done. Now, if I go to... Uh, active uh, latest uh, yeah, actually active buildable designs that way we, we can sort of see now i don't have i've i've gotten rid of i've made it obsolete the ones that i don't want so i've now got a fleet frigate and a rail destroyer now this one is uh, quite powerful there's only three of those that have been built at this stage the fleet frigates are also being up, updated but these two we saw the heavy escort version two we did that in the last episode the these fleet frigates have got Pretty much the thing that's important here, they've got iron shields, so they can sort of move around in, in the in the um, in the iron areas and, and sort of take iron attacks. Accelerous engines, so they're nice and fast, and two lance missiles. So these are really standoff ships. So these have actually got like very heavy standoff ships. Now what's interesting through here as well is when I hover over that, you can see there which weapon which weapon area we're actually sort of then dealing with. We're looking at the um, so that lance missile is being fired from weapon slot number two. And this one is being from weapon slot number one at 180 degrees. Now, the the degrees don't matter much. I could have actually placed it up the top at 270, but I wanted to have the range of um, of 270 to be able to then fire back around the actual ship itself with the, with the beam defense, because these will sit back. That's the idea is that they sit back and just bombard at long range with these uh, with these lance missiles. And so I do actually have two weapon slots at the back, and I didn't want to put the multi-beam defense at the back because if these are being attacked from the front, they won't do anything at all unless I'm actually facing away from the, the target. So this is where the facing is actually quite important with your design. Um, there's, I know that there's been discussion about what to do, but anyway, that's... Um, that's all good. I, I um, sort of got rid of all of the armor. This, the idea of these is not to get into the fight. So uh, they're just going to sort of be at, at long range firing away. That's, that's really the idea. So they're not, the, these fleet frigates are not there for close combat. So we'll just uh, go back out. The, the, um, the heavy escorts that we saw were, but also the rail destroyers, which is our, uh, my new destroyer design. If we have a look at this one, edit, this one is designed also. Like we've got three big areas now i've only put three three guns on this one these are three these are the rail guns so the rail guns have been placed on the on the front we do have one empty slot so i've got heavy rail guns at the front there i've got a sentinel defense again at the in the middle there with the 270 uh at weapon slot zero and uh, this one as well at the back i've just put another sentinel multi-beam i might as well keep it there just in case because this one is going to have to get in nice and close to then make use of its heavy rail gun and this will be uh this is really just designed to pull apart 
uh, like very, very quickly rip, rip through bases and so on and so forth. It's fairly slow. It's only got the three engines. Actually, no, it's got four engines, so it's about as fast as it can go, really, with what it actually does do. And we didn't, I didn't put on any of the um, any of the the fighter bays. I, I, I'm right in the limits of my crew capacity. I don't actually have the ability to really go inside uh, Nebula with this one, uh, not effectively. So I've got to be careful. I've got uh, two shielding though, which will help with the um, with Nebulas and heavy armor. So that's where we are with this particular design. This is. Um, quite a strong design so uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, testing this one actually in, in sort of more high level combat. So the idea when we go on the attack against the Boscarans is we'll send the fleet with these in against the homeworld, take out the uh, the star base and then actually just let it, let these guys look after the, that actual system. So that's where we are with the, the three different designs that we actually have. I do I do like this. It's sort of there's not a hell of a lot that you need to really manage in uh, distant worlds. Like it, I mean, there is a lot to manage, but the, as far as the actual ships and stuff, you can automate an awful lot. So anyway, that's sort of where we are. Uh, let's just wait for something to actually happen. Now I did destroy the uh, the the, res the base that was there. I would love to get more out here to sort of find out what's going on. The MS3, none of the like I've got no fuel in through here at all. A lot of these we haven't actually uh, discovered just yet. Let's get them back to Galactic North. Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah, this is something I would love to get this to get the uh, Zentabia fluid. I've got a lot of they've got a fairly big fleet there. Yeah, we'll assign that mission in through there. And we'll get ready fairly soon. I've got a monitoring station now built through here. The monitoring stations aren't being built in the enemy territory. That's what that's what the problem was over the other side. Small spaceport completed. That's good. So we've got another spaceport yet again. Now let's have a quick look at our fleets. Yep, so new escorts are now being finished. Let's just go from fleet to fleet. This one doesn't have any emissions. This one is now ready to go. So this will have this will now actually no, there's still the, the wrong the wrong fleet. Uh, let's just go back through. This one here is still retrofitting. This one here, the fourth fleet. Yep, no construction yards available with sufficient resources. The fifth can retrofit, but that should have already retrofitted. Got a frigate there. It's a frigate too. Yeah, these aren't actually retrofitting. Three frigates and an escort. That's the Heavy Escort version 2, so that's the latest one. Yeah, okay, we'll just, we'll just go back in here and we'll just tell it to retrofit at the Rindula spaceport. So it's now going to move across to here to retrofit. The transporters are not doing anything, so I'm just going to move them back across to the... Um, to the Ed Radaman system, we'll just move them back across that way. Uh, fleets, so this one's still being built. This one is still retrofitting. This one here sort of bothers me. Just tell it to retrofit yet again. I don't know why it didn't do it the first time. And they're still retrofitting as well. Let's just unpause and let it continue. We may have problems with um, with resources for the retrofit that we want. For example, they, the the um, this fleet in here, the first fleet is um, may have trouble. I'm guessing with the frigates. Just keep on searching. Got to find these pirate bases. I'm interested in in taking these forward. Still the old one. Yeah, it's already retrofitting. That's okay. All right. Well, I'll pause the uh, the game, and then we'll come back when we've actually just got something else to have a bit of a look at. All right. Well, look. Here's the seventh um, strike forces. Our raider group just going in. This, it's, there's a weirdness in here, which I think is a bug. If 
we have a bit of a look, I've just got it by Escort, and if I just go to any of the non ones that are down through here, these are just actually, that's an Escort version 2. This one's an old Escort 3, but if I try to go to upgrade it, it's actually 80, nearly 80,000 credits to upgrade. There's something wrong there. It shouldn't be that anywhere near that amount, so I will report that one as well. Let's continue um, with this particular group. I'll just select it from down in here. Let's assign all of these. Actually, that monitoring station I shouldn't have done. Uh, this is just going to be some um, some creatures. We'll just wait for it. Now, I do want to test these against some of the pirates as well. I don't think they're going to be able to be any good against pirate bases. Actually, one thing I should test is... How are we going with um, destroyers? Yeah, it's already rail destroyers. It looks like they're all already rail destroyers. Let's just get in the bottom here somewhere. Yeah, they've all been updated. Yep, so that's uh, that's our latest version. Uh, what about frigates? Fleet frigates all the way through by the looks. Uh, that one there hasn't been updated yet. Yeah, that's what you'd expect, 146 credits. Okay, you can go across and get up, upgraded. Yeah, the rest of these are now fleet frigates, which is, which is what we want. So anyway, these guys are now attacking away at this Gravelix, sorry, this Vortica. Whoa, jeez. Took a bit of damage. <laughs> a bit more than a bit of damage. Another one coming in. That one's gone, that's good. Okay, so we've lost a ship there. Um, we'll assign that mission. Known items, yep, that's okay. Dismiss. We will go after those pirates fairly soon. Okay, so we've got this uh, fleet in through here. Now this one it has taken a bit of damage. Now it is going across to uh, just just check out different things that are actually in here. Now I think yeah, there's going to be more more that we have to get rid of. I do want to go after the pirates, but I want to make sure that we go in with the actual fleet, the big fleet. Okay, no mission now with this one. This is looking good. So we'll send this one now up against the pirates, which we do actually have a pirate base. If we just hover over, we can then sort of see it. There's a pirate base in here, at the, in the Yolant system. Now, just looking for the pirate base. What's that? That's not going to be the pirate base. That's a research center. I won't destroy that on the way through. Where is it? Where is it? I'm not sure. Ah, oh, there it is. There it is there. Ah, uh, yeah, so this is actually a... This is controlled by the Savage Rock Bandits. So we'll just give that an order to attack that particular shipyard. So that is not stock standard. In fact, that is... That's a spaceport. It's fairly strong. Wow. That is very strong, actually. So we're going to have... This will not go all our own way. They've got grapples, beams, all sorts of things. This is like an ancient uh, shipyard. It looks like a mortal and shipyard, like one of ours. So that... Uh, yeah, I think we'd better get rid of it, though. So it's uh, it's extremely strong, but if we can get in and strip the uh, shields away, I mean this will be an interesting interesting exercise actually. Okay, we're now finding more things. They've declared war. That's okay. They're miles away from us, so we don't need to worry. That's an interesting prospect. That's a really really powerful group. There may be other pirate. I thought there was another pirate one. Yeah, there's another one over here. If we have a bit of a look at this one here. There it is. 
In comparison, this one's only 1,000. So, with our first fleet, we have 5,000 strength. I think what I'll do is probably just save scum before this one does go in. In fact, what I should do is take it up against this one first. Where was it? There it is. Let's change the orders. So we'll attack the Brigand's Haven, which we, I know that we can do. And then we'll do a, I'll do a bit of a save scum before we go in, just to see what actually happens, because that is a massively powerful uh, ship. Build ships. Exploration ship, we'll just dismiss that. We're still finding things back out this way, which is fine. So we'll now go in and do the attack. Yeah, just grab Alexis, that won't be a problem. These are just little escorts, so you know they're just they're just doing what they do. That was good. Got through there. Okay, we've now can do medium spaceports. And now we're moving across into uh, the the better shielding. That'll be another reason to then upgrade everything. They should ask us again what they want to be doing. It was on raid. On raid duties. So the seven strike force against that particular mission. Now I'm going to decline that one and look for other ones. And we should find that the um, yeah, build monitoring station, that's no good. Decline. Okay, they've now taken over. The Harkonish have actually done Taken over what? Sakaria 1. Just misses the Boscara Hive. Or have they gone somewhere else? I'm not seeing I'm not aware of where that actual location is that they're that they're referring to. But we are starting to run out of time again. Um, I'll let this one go in next turn. That'll be fine. This one is coming back for retrofits. Hang on, why? Oh, escort threes. Oh, it picked up an it picked up an extra. That's okay. We'll let that happen. Anyway, guys, I will have to get going. There's uh, people here, so I will make this one a bit of a short one. I'll catch you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.